Hello, hello, lads and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another mini update episode. All right, so things I've done this week. I have primed up my space jump Vikings. Let's see, uh, let's do me in on these guys. There we go. Just prime them black. All three of them. I can use them for my one page rules. Wolf Brother Army. And uh, I think they look pretty good. And I also primed up. Uh, most of my wolves from last week. This one has even been uh, centerfold. One is primed as well. Just black primer. Base needs some more though. But I'm mostly just focused on the mini. And this one I have even uh, painted. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, for tabletop standard, which is what I am going for. And I also got myself some new Battle Sisters, just because the models look cool with the shield and the mace. So I got like one of each. So I got one here with a spear and a shield. The shield has like a pistol in it. That's pretty cool. Then I have one with a heavy spear. That one has a little cross guard on it. More or less the only difference. And uh, then there is the one with a hellbird. Just one of one of each, just because, well, looks cool. Alright, and what else? I have... A little 3D designing and uh, actually got some custom. Uh, I don't know, should you call it shoulder plates for the uh, Redemptor Dreadnought? Put some wolf skulls on there and the uh, Space Wolf logo. And uh, I think it looks pretty cool. If I can get it to focus, there we go. Yeah, and this is the first version. Uh, doesn't look like it picks up too well on this camera though, but uh, you can really see the uh, layer lines here. But I don't think the camera is picking those up. So I did do a second version. with a uh, higher resolution. These have not been primed yet, so I'm gonna prime them and paint them up and put them on there. They're just glue tacked on here, so I can just like, peel them off. Because I haven't painted the model yet, I don't want to stick these on yet. Well, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Alright, and other than that, I have primed and centerfold my indicators for my Age of Sigma army. Uh, let's see, I guess we could zoom out a little bit. Alright, and there we got the sharpness too. Yeah, just primed it black and gave it a centerfold. Make sure it looks like grey and all that good stuff. And I also have the second one here. Looks pretty cool. I like how it's jumping towards you. Looks real cool. And the prime I have actually started painting up by using the uh, Frost Heart Contrast Paint. And I think that looks Pretty sick on this one. 
I have my Estrella Soulbright, which is also a Dracoline. And that one I painted red, and I want to like paint them different colors. Mostly because uh, I wanted to differentiate what, uh, what rank you have. I mean, Astrea is a lord. I mean, she would be considered a lord arcanum. And this one is a prime, so that is lower than a knight. He's getting a blue one. And uh, the other ones here that are just normal guys. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I guess I want to get them a little... Uh, I don't know, should I go with like a yellow? Maybe? Alright, and I also noticed I actually forgot something. So I'm gonna be right back. Alright, I am back. And I do have another print. That I printed out. That is this rogue. And get this focus. Yeah, there we go. So I printed out this rogue and painted it. And uh, I'm happy with the color scheme. Also tried to do like a poison blade, so I put some like green on there. I think I got the effect somewhat good. And also did some uh, moss effect on the base. To make it look like she's in a dungeon. Because this is a piece that I would probably use for something like Dungeons and Dragons. But I also printed that one as a at a low resolution. So I have also printed a second one at a higher resolution, and that one is just primed and centerfold at this point. But yeah, kind of a big difference. Looking forward to painting that one up. Alright, so I also primed and centerfold my annihilators with great hammers. So I got uh, all three of those done. There we go. So I still need to paint these up though. But I'm pretty sure I can do that. Annihilators seem to be pretty easy to paint, I feel like. And I quite enjoy doing it. Alright, and other than that, I've also been starting to print out a repulsor for my Wolf Brother Army and uh, customize it, putting the Space Wolf logo on there. Yeah, I think it looks kind of cool. So I have the back side there, and uh, also the side. This is the right side panel. Still have quite a few more pieces I need to print out. I mean, I got like a bunch of like small pieces here. Yeah, here. <laughs> Just a whole bunch of like small pieces. And also the top piece. And decided that it's going to be put on. So this one is just going to be set on like so. 
and glue it onto there. And then the small pieces are going to get glued on here and stuff like that. But I'm going to wait until I have all the pieces before I try putting this together. And I might actually prime it in pieces. Just because I feel like that will make it easier for me to actually reach into every nook and cranny. Yeah, I think that is my best bet. Yeah, so... Uh, that is going to be a fun project, getting that all printed up and uh, yeah, I really enjoy putting like my own little flair on stuff. I mean that ain't a lot, I'm just putting the Space Wolf logo on, but it's enough for me to make it feel like this is unique, this isn't something that comes straight from the shop. And. Uh, that's kind of what I like. I'll make it more... Something that means something to me. Something more special. <laughs> That's kind of why I went with my own color scheme on my Stormcast Eternals and all that, because... Sure, I play them as uh, like Hammers of Sigmar, but mine are like... Black and red. Black armor with like, like red cloth. Whilst Hammer of Sigmar are like... The Golden Boys. <laughs> I haven't strayed too far though when it comes to the Space Wolves. I kept the color schemes pretty... pretty accurate. The thing though is, like, I want to customize vehicles and uh, other stuff like that. And uh, this is one of the things that I really like, when you can have a wolf helmet on. This one has a wolf head helmet. That is something I really love, because that really screams that we are the wolves. We're gonna devour you. <laughs> Either that, or I want them to not have a helmet at all. It's the same with my space marines. Uh, you might notice that... Space Marines. <laughs> that was Space Marines. Uh, it's the same with my Stormcast Eternals. As you might see here, this guy, no helmet. Then we got this guy, no helmet. And the Prime, no helmet. I prefer to see the faces of my warriors. Didn't have much of the of a choice when it came to the evocators here, though. I did get the face on uh, the prime, though. So I'm happy about that. You can actually see a little face there. And I think this is a female. Yeah, that's definitely a female. And uh, the other two here seems to be males. Huh. They're led by a woman. We like that. Women can be great leaders too. Alright, but I think that is going to be it for this episode though. I think I showed off more or less everything. And... Uh, yeah. I do hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye!